Right, new addition for the motorhome. Just picked it up. It's a portable washing machine. It's got the controls on the side. 10 minute timer, spin, wash, off. So off, and you spin. The carry handle, power cord, 240 volts, but it's like 315 watts as you drain. Hose, so um, that looks like it's going to fit in the plug off the shower, or I could just put it through the floor, um, hang it out the door. Oh, there's a little hook there for it. Oh, that's very nice. Um, yeah, top loading. Comes with this, which goes in there. You can attach it to your hot tap. Um, my record of what I've heard, because this is second hand, these go up to... 50 degrees on the water which is good because my water heater does 50 or 70 but I'm probably going to wash stuff at 30 or 40 um, and inside a big drum get this off this is your spinning basket you can't spin the amount that you wash so you either do a half load and then you can put it all in here and spin it or um, you have to separate it into half two halves if you've got a big load and there's your little basket for spinning goes in there clips in place and then that spins all the water disperses and then drains out a little lid for it too so your shit don't come out but yeah I suppose we better plug it in um, they were about 150 quid recently they've gone down to about 80 quid and I've just paid a nifty for it second hand um, seems like it's in good condition Oh, it's even got like a million different holes in the back so if you use it with an adapter anything will fit in there that looks like the back of my old inverter so that's pretty good pretty good we'll plug it into the 800 watt pure sine wave inverter one set didn't really see a lot online i've seen them in green no many videos there's a video but it's in uh it was in italian or something yeah we'll best give it a go and see if it works Inverter's just behind the passenger seat, just about reaches. Got a nice big shower tray. I do have a big shower room. Um, I had to take off the, uh, this little clip, but the hose fits perfectly into my plug. And there's one thing I did wonder is if it rotated, and it does. And it's not even that loud, especially in here on this floor. Um, yeah, let's turn it on. It spins that way, stops. It spins the other way. Stops. And then it spins the other way. How good is that? And then turn this. It clicks and goes off. And then you that's it completely off and then click it again and that goes onto spin mode. Which I think is five minutes, but it just spins constantly for five minutes. Just with the basket in. Now I decided to do it in here. I can fill it from the shower, being just there. So I've got a half fill it of some water, well, nearly half fill it of water, chuck some stuff in it, and obviously that doesn't spin as fast as I'd like it to, but ah, this has got to save me a few trips to the laundrette. I reckon I can get more in here than this, but without showing you my, uh, my smalls, two pairs of socks, two pairs of boxer shorts, Another sock. So yeah, two two pairs of socks, two boxes of shorts, and a work t-shirt. So if I fill the that's the spinning basket for for spinning, and it should wash twice that amount because it says you've got to separate it to rinse it. So I'm just going to do basically half a load with what can fit in there just to test it out. Right, filling it up for the shower. I've took the shower head off because I thought it might be quicker. Um, hot water's been on for about 10 minutes, filling up okay. Now, having that down the the drain pipe down the plug wasn't working because this is gravity emptied. So as water was going in there, it was coming straight out of the plug. So obviously you hook this on here to stop it from emptying out. I thought there was like a drain button or you turn it on to drain, but there is no drain facility. It's just gravity. So I've put the little hook back on the pipe, hooked it on there, 
So if you are using one of these and this falls off, it will just empty water. But, looks good. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm. Bear in mind, you've probably got to wash it two or three times to obviously drain the water, dirt and suds and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be good. Brilliant. All right. So we'll get that nearly half full and we'll come back. So while we're videoing, that's my 80 litre fresh water tank. And this is how I fill it up for my 35 litre tank when I'm not parked next to uh, an outside tap where I can use the hose. Well, I just couldn't be bothered to take this motor home and fill it up from the tap because uh, the excitement of wanting to try this. So I just filled it up from work before I left. And it takes about three minutes to uh, empty out a little tap down there. Do you open out to get some airflow? I'm only going to need, I reckon, between 10 and 30 litres. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how much water I'm going to use. No idea, but who cares? This is going to save me trips. I mean, I still got to go to laundrette for towels and bedding and bigger items, but just for like small things to keep me going for the week for work, then uh, yeah, that's a trip saved because it's a palaver. Um, taking the motor home to the laundrette, and if I take the car, I've got to bag everything up, get in the car, drive to the laundrette, sit around there for an hour, get back in the car, drive all the way back to the motor home, get in the motor home. So, you know. A little bit of logic behind this. As not too much because well, I don't think I've ever done it. Uh, it's only half full. I'll put the clothes in and see if I need to put more water in. Yeah. Whites and colours. I'm doing darks. Right, focus, focus, focus. Well, I've got several works T-shirts, but this will just save me taking them all to the laundrette at the end of the week. I can just do one, like when I need to. All right, so let's bang it in. I think when you originally buy these, they come with like big white tongs. Yeah, I think we need some more water now. Oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, that's nice and warm. Mm-hmm. Right, let's get a bit more water in there. Can't be asked to take the shower head off just to top it up. Yeah, that looks like it's three quarters of the way full. I said, right, I've got a t shirt in there, two boxer shorts, two pairs of socks. Let's get this out of the way. And of course, I've splashed water everywhere. And then you turn that all the way around onto the 10 minute timer. We'll do the lid open just for shits and giggles. Oh, look at that. Might let some water out, might shut the lid. Not sure. No, it's pretty cool. Well, it's not leaking out, so I've not overfilled it. And that's got a lip on it, so water that splashes up will just drop straight in. Ah, oh, fuck it, I want to watch it. <laughs> Here we go. Now when people say, oh, van life, you live in a motorhome, you live in a van, how do you wash your clothes? Ta-da! Oh, that's so cool. I don't think it's going to spin very well. But at least it'll be clean. And for drying, um, let me just step out this little pot. And for drying, anyone's got one of these motorhomes, to the air vent, you can open that, turn your heating on, turn the fan on, and it blows hot air in here. And this room can be a sauna. You can get this room stupidly hot. So I could just put a clothes dryer clothes horse in here, and it will be dry in like no time. That's really not even loud. It's just a faint hum. One more time, one more time, one more time. Yeah, it's bit a bit of water right now. I think we'll leave the lid shut. <laughs> and it takes up no room. And also, that was on like 12.7 when I got in the van because I've had my solar panel turned off today. And it's it's on 12.5, so it's not really using a lot of power. Uh, I've got 
no amps coming in because I've been parked in the shade now. But I can either park in the sunlight or start the engine. No big deal. Uh, back to normal. Back to normal. Back to normal. That is 12.6, 12.5. So it's it's not really using for 10 minutes. It's going to run. But I say half an hour. 10 minute wash, five minute spin. Probably do another 10 minute wash to rinse it out. Then another five minute spin. That's not really going to eat my batteries. If anyone's wondering, I've got three 75 amp hour marine batteries. And sat on the toilet. You ready? And can you hear it? The water's brown already. Most of that's off my work t-shirt from carrying dusty boxes. <laughs> Can't even close. I thought it was going to be going. Right, I was on 12.9. It's finished. It's on 12.8, so I've hardly used any power in the 20 minutes it's been on. I set the timer for 10 minutes, which is a standard wash. Uh, it finished, and I put it on for another 10 minutes. Um, so the first wash, the colour of the water was the same colour as the dust in the warehouse. I get absolutely covered in dust. I mean, my work needs, like, I just get so dusty when I'm in the warehouse. And every box we deliver is full of dust. So that was the same colour originally as the dust in the warehouse, which is a good sign. Now it's just the colour of dirty clothes. So I'm going to drain it all off because it's I can't get the tripod in here. It's a bit claustrophobic for doing that. Uh, and we'll get the spin going and we'll, we'll bring the camera back. Just so people... I mean, I haven't seen many of these online, but it's pretty much the same as the blue and white one, the twin tub, which I was going to get. But when I found this, it's half the size and uh, half the price. So yeah, if I just sort of like do a demonstration on this, it gives people a rough idea if they're any good or not, because I'm still sceptical. People say they're great, but we just don't know. A wet hand, and the water's coming out faster than it can go down the drain. <laughs> so putting it down the drain isn't great. I'm not parked totally level, so it's not going to be running out perfectly great. So, uh, but you know, we're just testing it out. But it's draining. It, it drained in a second. Oh, there's still a lot of soap on the clothes. So uh, yeah, we'll drain it out and get the wet foot. So it's time to get out of the bathroom. That's it. Nearly empty. It's just running, dripping out now. We're zooming on that. Yeah, it was gushing out for the first few seconds. It only took like 10 seconds to empty. And it was, when it was gushing out, it was just obviously water coming out everywhere. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that old black stuff in there. All right. We'll give it a spin and then we'll give it a rinse. I'm going to install this or just use it by my door. And I've got a manual lever for the footstep. And I've got these high tech electric ones but if I lift up the rubber looks like a CV boot if I lift up the rubber bit like you get around a gear stick it goes straight to outside so I could put the drainage oh, well, we'll show you another day because I'm out down lots of dirty water in my shower which is fine right that's all in there and it's absolutely sodden as if it's just came out of a bucket of water let's try and get it in there I want it level so it doesn't have too much weight on one side. Just push it in, get this thing on here somehow. Oh, there's even like a little, little there's even like a little handle on it. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's why it's got a handle on it. Sit that in there. Spin goes for, I think it was three minutes. Can't see because I'm too tall. Yeah. Oh, that's no, a five minute spin. So you just turn that till it clicks. It's not loud, it's not going like I thought it was going to go in the bathroom on a hard floor. I thought this was going to go really loud, but that's really not bad at all. Obviously the weight's not that level and it's not spinning that fast. Yeah, I still reckon the spin's going to be crap on this. Oh, 
Oh, there's more coming out. Yeah, water's coming out. Stopped it because it had a bit of a wobble to it. Wasn't anything bad. Took the t-shirt out. Left it on the toilet. Put it back on three minutes. And it's not got the wobble that it had. So we'll leave that for five minutes. Water's still coming out. Yeah, I haven't got water all over my floor, but it's, it's a wet room, so it's all sealed. It's a big old shower tray. Doesn't matter. And that's only because I tried to get the hose from here down to there and it just gushed out everywhere. If, uh, yeah, might have been better to do this by an open door, just drop it outside. I don't know, it, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's spinning fine. And it's not. Going ka -dunk -ka -dunk -ka -dunk like it was. So we'll give it five minutes, then I'll spin my t shirt. Right, it's finished its spin. Now I've cheated and I'm re recording this because I didn't actually record it the first time. But I thought, well, the proof will be instantly in how much this basket weighs. And straight away I noticed there's not a lot of weight to this compared to what it was. Um, now, forgive me. This is fake because I've already got it out and checked it. But I put it back in and got my phone because I was shocked. I pulled this out. I thought this would be sodden. This is a shock. I actually thought this would be... Uh, really? It's like a couple of drips coming out of that. I may pull it out my socks. But yeah, that's really... I mean, I thought it would be soaking wet. But they're not. Now, I washed it twice. I've done two 10-minute washes. It's had a five minute spin, so I'm gonna put it back in there for five minutes because that is an amazing. I thought when that comes out of the spin, I honestly thought that would be soaking wet. Wait, how do I get it back on? Turn it to the clicks. Uh, how do you do spin again? So it stops. There, spin, right. So that's another five minutes. I'm shocked. I thought that was gonna come out absolutely sodden dripping soaking wet but that is amazing just spun the t-shirt and only once but i've put everything back in because i forgot i was going to rinse it because obviously all that dirty water that was in there drained out but a lot of it's still in the clothes so i'm filling it up again with hot water yeah hot water put on another wash then spin it and that should be it done. Refilled it with hot water. Uh, focus. Put it back on 10 minutes. Close the lid. Give it another 10 minutes. My shower tray is like totally full of water. Because I'll be making a pig's ear of it. Because it's new. But yeah, by doing a second wash, this is like a rinse. So you can do this two or three times as long as you want, really, until the water's clear and you're happy the suds are gone. So yeah, it's personal preference, and it depends on how dirty your clothes are. Yeah, we'll give it another 10 minutes. And uh, it's got a pot noodle going, because I'm actually still outside work. I was going to go park up and then try it out, but I was too excited. So I'm going to have a quick pot noodle while this is going, and then uh, go and park up and have dinner. Right, let's have a look at that water. 12.4, 12.5, 12 just dropped to 12.4. Oops, not even in shot. There we go, 12.6. So it hasn't used a great deal, and it's spun twice and washed twice. This is the third wash. Fucking hell. I'm overly impressed, especially with the, uh, the size. Um, it's not using a lot of power and the noise well, I thought it was going to be like an earthquake that thing is brilliant right just been to park the car up because I forgot I hadn't parked the car up and I'm still parked outside work for after picking up the machine so there's my my bin my little pedal bin it's roughly the same size as the washing machine 
Now I had a mishap uh, when it was draining the pipe a couple of times moved out of the drain I've got about two inches of water in here but that's dirty water the flash is on so it's not really showing up on the dirt and all the fluff there which is I think um, it's a fairly new work t-shirt so all the fluffs come out so it's drained all the fluff the, the dirty water's dirty um, I'm well impressed with that well impressed with that machine hardly makes a noise um, when I spun my t-shirt spun it twice but the first time I spun it the machine was going ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk. I opened it up shut the basket spun it again and it was just going Broo. so if the, you know you just make sure the stuff's weighted properly so my socks are all hanging up I mean the heat this van gets this van gets like I think it was 29 degrees in here today when I was at work I popped in on my lunch break it was 29 degrees in here and uh, that's with both skylights open and and the cold air blower blowing so yeah we're not going to see my socks but <laughs> so my little 800 watt inverter excuse the spare battery it's a brand new battery someone gave me the other day but i've got really no use for it at the moment so my vic no oh, no i can't remember the name of it 800 watt pure sine wave powered that little 315 watts i think it is absolutely fantastic well over the moon with that so so it's a long-winded video, but honestly, I've just finished work. I picked it up. I came straight back here, and I've just done a load of washing. It may take half an hour. The electricity is free. The water, I'm going to get anyway. Um, and it did. It saved me. Like after work, I've got to come back to the van, get my washing, get in the car, drive to the laundrette. I normally go to the shop and buy a sandwich and a can of coke, and go back to the laundrette, spend an hour there. About seven quid doing a wash load, tumble drying it, putting it back in the uh, bag, driving back because the, the local laundrette shuts too early, so I have to drive out of town to when that opens at nine. Um, well, it flashes really bright. No one. Um, yeah, so it's time consuming. By the time I've driven all the way back and then put, hung up all the washing and then started the van up and drove off, and then got parked up. It's like nine ten o'clock at night and then i've got to like, have for dinner but i've eaten i've been on the phone i've sat here with my feet up while washing so that's fantastic and i haven't gone anywhere I haven't had to drive both vehicles I haven't spent fuel in both vehicles I haven't spent money at the laundrette um yeah it cost me 50 quid for that second hand but i'm more than happy with that right i'm gonna get going because i want to have a bit of a tidy up and uh get the motor home parked up for the night it's getting dark outside now the sun's gone down but uh yeah, overly impressed with that. Overly impressed. That is absolutely brilliantly fantastic. And I'm parked on a funny angle, so the water's not actually draining. You know, the water's running down to this corner here off the uh, the drain. So I just go for a drive to level out to let that go down there, then I can rinse it out. And then find a home for that. Brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right, catch you on the next little video.